The Trump administration was distracted by last year's election and ignored recommendations to fight the coronavirus pandemic. That's according to the White House COVID-19 response coordinator under former President Trump, Dr. Deborah Birx, in a closed-door testimony that she gave to the House Select Subcommittee on the pandemic this month, Birx told congressional investigators more than 130,000 American lives could have been saved if the Trump White House had taken swifter action against the virus. I believe if we had fully implemented the mask mandates, the reduction in indoor dining, and getting friends and family to understand the risk of gathering in private homes, and we had increased testing, that we probably could have decreased fatalities into the 30% less to 40% less range, Burke said. When asked directly if Trump did everything he could to try to mitigate the spread of the virus and save lives, during the pandemic, Burks responded no, according to excerpts shared by the panel. A spokesperson for Trump responded to Burks's criticism, saying the former president led an unprecedented effort to successfully combat COVID-19 by delivering treatments and three vaccines in record time. And Jonathan Lemire and Willie Geist. Uh, this is a man who talked about injecting bleach into our skin, who was pushing hydroxychloroquine, who didn't do anything, practically nothing, to uh, advance our fight against this coronavirus. You saw an administration and a COVID team that was desperate for me measures to be put in place, and a president that was saying one thing out of one side of his mouth and another out of the other side of his mouth, confusing the American public every step of the way, and yet trying to take credit for somehow saving America from this pandemic. The one good thing that did happen out of that presidency is the vaccine was allowed to move forward and there is a vaccine today because of work that was done. Operation Warp Speed had some positive angles to it. But this is a president who, in one example, sums it all up. He literally <coughs> held a news conference and asked Dr. Deborah Burks if injecting bleach into your skin is a new thing that could work. And how yep. somehow you can see through everything. I mean, this is what her testimony is, what we watched happen in real time. And if you see that I'm getting a little intense here, it's because so much has happened during the Trump presidency that we've become immune to it all. We've become so desensitized to hundreds of thousands of people dying when simple steps could have been taken from the top down. But he refused to be clear on anything, not even the vaccine. This president, this former president got vaccinated, but didn't let the American public see or know about it. He barely, barely got to the finish line here. Yeah, Mika, obviously I covered that presidency he was in the White House more days than not. And there was such misinformation delivered from uh, the podium, from the president during those daily White House coronavirus briefings. He would give false hope. He would peddle false cures, uh, suggesting, yes, the hydroxychloroquine, but also at a time thinking the whole thing would have been done by Easter, mm -hmm. Easter 2020, mm -hmm. uh, as we now, of course, are approaching Halloween 2021. Uh, he was someone who every night on the campaign trail gathered huge crowds. They weren't wearing masks. Masks. They weren't socially distanced. Near the end, they were outdoors, but those were traced to being super spreader events at time. He hosted super spreader events at the White House uh, when he announced his Supreme Court pick, leading to an outbreak there, including his own illness. And then let's remember this, that after the election, he basically abdicated the responsibilities of the presidency. He went behind closed doors. We barely saw him. His only focus was trying this ill-fated, absurd attempt to overturn election results. And that, and that winter of 2020 into early 2021 was some of the deadliest months of the pandemic yet. And there was no leadership from the White House whatsoever on the matter. And Eddie, we've talked about this on this show for now almost two years. President Trump likes to talk about the generals, about being a wartime president. He had a chance back in February and March of 2020 to stand up there, tell some hard truths to the American public about what we have to do to get through this. We can do it. We've got to put in some restrictions. We've got to wear some masks. And maybe by this summer, we'll be on the other side of it. Instead, what he offered was it will go away like a yeah. miracle one day. It will disappear. He said it again and again and again, trying to wish it away because it was getting in the way of his being reelected. 130,000 people might not have died. 130,000 people who died alone, whose loved ones couldn't be there. 
a nana, an uncle, a brother, a father, a sister, people in the community, coach. 100,000, 30,000 people died unnecessarily. So we can talk about Trump and we can talk about the politics around it, but we just need to understand the magnitude of the loss because of this. I think we need to be very, very clear about yeah, that. Yeah, soak in that number right there. 743,224 total fatalities from COVID in this country. That is, of course, the most in the world. Mika, you can't <coughs> wish that away. It will not magically disappear, as the president no. suggested. Mm. Coming up. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.